all on video and he already hems us up enough and it's all on video. Yeah, it's a problem. And he shows his badge and says I'm a cop and everything. From there, you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack Jeremiah. Yes, all on video. What are you doing? Sir, sir. I mean, you should watch the video. He looks crazy charging at him in the middle of the street. It being on video is, yeah, it's a problem. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tall. I mean, I don't know why he thinks you know about what the rest of the people can leave Yeah, it's a problem. And then he comes at him, and you can literally see the stuff on camera. The whole camera, like, starts shaking and crap. His daughter's screaming and crying, and he said he had his knee on the back of his neck. It's all on video, and he already hums us up enough, and it's all on video. Yeah, it's a problem. On December 11th, 2022, a couple and their young daughter were walking through a neighborhood on their way back from the grocery store. As they walked past the residence of 400 Eagle Trail in Springfield, Illinois, the little girl accidentally dropped a bag of candy in the road. The resident of 400 Eagle Trail came out of the house and yelled at the couple to come back and pick up their trash. As the mother picks up the candy, she thanks the man for letting them know they dropped it, as her daughter would have been pretty sad when she got home that her candy was missing. The man then flashed a badge and told the couple that he's a cop and he wants them out of their neighborhood. Due to the fact that he identified as a cop and flashed a badge, the man passing takes out his phone and starts recording while asking for his name and the department that the alleged officer works for. The man identifying as an officer then walks out into the street and attacks the man recording, telling him that he's under arrest. The man identifying as a cop then calls 911, tells the dispatcher that the man recording is armed and threatening him. This is the newly released body cam footage from Officer Alyssa Gianantonio, where she repeatedly tells supervisors that she's going to have to arrest the cop because there's a problem. His crime was caught on camera. I live in this house right here, mm -hmm. off-duty Metro. They, they're coming through and they threw trash in another person's yard and they threw trash in my yard. So I, I confronted him. Mm -hmm. I was actually being really nice to him and his wife and asked him to just pick it up and go. And then he starts filming me and yelling at me. So I approached him and we got in a little tussle. Oh. <laughs> It's all, it's always so funny how they describe uh their recollection their uh recollection of the events that uh happened. A video they're all because they're gonna see all on video and now it just got to the point where it's like I gotta play guys out. That's what we are. So if you want to I don't want to prosecute or anything like that. I really just wanted to leave, but I wanna get to the point where I guess doing this. I've been trying to talk with them. back in your driveway and I'll talk to him. Yeah. Right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Yep. All because I pulled my phone out and asked him for his he, he, name and badge. Like, I'm not joking. And you can see on the video, he charges at me, throws me to the ground. He said, you're under arrest. I'm putting you in handcuffs. And through my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Had me he had his knee in my throat. Bag of candy is where he had his knee in my throat. One, hold on. One time. Okay. I'm sorry. No, we're you're fine. We're walking to and I accidentally dropped this guy's candy. He thought I was going to throw trash in his like the, uh, the edge of his camera. Out, uh, and I said, no, I'm sorry. It's actually her bag of candy. I didn't even drop it. So I picked it up and he said, okay. Well, the next time, it, I don't know. It just kind of went from one thing to the I, next. Because he identified I know he as a cop. So I said, so what is your name and badge number if you're mm -hmm. a cop? And uh, that's when he pulled out something out of his pocket. I guess it's a badge he's holding. Mm -hmm. And ran towards me, badger. threw I mean, me down on the ground. Yeah. 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 Put his knee in my throat, yeah. literally had me down on the ground. Yeah, that is true. Oh, because I, I asked for his name and badge. Yeah, Danny Penn said he was going to have him arrested and taken to jail. And I'm like, ah, so I want to press what? charges on him. I have it on video. Is he really Would you like to see it? And I don't think you can. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can really arrest him. I, I, you should put your hands on Just because he's a cop, he don't have qualified immunity. Keep your hands to yourself. All over a <laughs> bag of candy that I picked up. <laughs> I like that it, yeah. And I even apologized that I dropped it. Yeah. I didn't even know I dropped it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to, we were just trying to cut through and walk to Kroger. Yeah. Yeah, we were coming from Walmart. I'm just trying to come to the grocery store. Then, oh, yeah, I get something to drink and I dropped the bag. Here, uh, you're on my Bluetooth is on. You're really happy. Sorry, you're sorry, I'm kind of shaky because I was just not you know, excitement. I swear, you're fine. You don't have those logos. I like 
Okay. Okay. I asked you yeah. for name and badge number. Is it volume? It looks like volume. Code. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. See, it looks like he grabbed the phone. Dude, he grabbed. He's got me on the uh, ground. He's got him on the ground, pinned down, like literally, like I didn't like. That's where he threw my phone. Now he's like, got his. He's got me. You know how y'all maneuver? Cops take people down, put their knee yeah. in their fucking chest, and throw. Yeah, That's what he, he did. Him, like like pinned down to where. Like, but you see, like, I was doing nothing. I was standing in the road. I I said, "What is your name and badge number?" Is the volume still there? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what happened. I'm trying to scream over. Like, get off my daddy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. I'm telling you, get off my daddy. Even if you, that was fine. <laughs> if, you're off, if you're off duty, why are you pinning people across the road over a bag of candy that didn't mean to get you off? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was an accident. You weren't even in your yeah, yard. The bag of candy got dropped in the middle of the road. He's got his knee in my chest. Literally, all his body is pushing in my throat. A bag of candy. All because I pulled out my phone and said, "Well, if you're a cop, what is your name and badge?" Right. So I want to put this is tight. Okay, just stand over here. If you guys want to grab this stuff, I'm gonna bring it over here. Just a second. Okay. I do want to put charge. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. He's got the whole thing up, did he? Oh, John, I was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed. And he goes, Who? Oh, Who? Oh, oh, about what? Everybody came on his property first. I haven't. I didn't see any of that on the video. No, we talked to him, oh, but, like, but they weren't on his property when he did that. They were in the middle of the street. And it's on video. He, he literally left it. I mean, I don't know why it was things you know about with the Western people for no reason. They weren't on the property when they did it. They were actually like down where my car. They try to do everything to avoid uh, handing out justice to their own. You know, too bad she can't avoid it now because it's on camera. Remember, if this, she basically said, I have to do this because it's on, I have to go ahead and, uh, take care of this because he's on camera. So she's basically saying, well, if they didn't, if they didn't record, then we probably, we probably would be good to go. And, you know, we could just uh, kind of sweep this under the rug. But the fact that he started recording this is why uh, it actually, he actually received some, some sort of uh, justice for a random, Man on the street attacking him when he when he's with his family. Oh, that's right over here. I'm I'm just saying if you that it's on video, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's recorded. Yeah. This, this this is the corruption huddle. They always do this. This is the corruption huddle. Let's see how we're gonna. Let's see how we're gonna uh, move on this. This is one of our own, but man, he's on camera. So if we don't do anything, it's gonna be a bigger story. Man, I wish they didn't record. If only if if only he wasn't recording and this wasn't on camera, he would be good. But since he's on camera, you know, and that this should tell this should tell you that. Record everything, film everything. I'm surprised they didn't pause. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't mute this body cam footage. Hashtag stop muting body cam footage. If you're here in the, if you're in the chat right now, go ahead and, and drop that hashtag. Hashtag stop muting body cam footage. I'm telling y'all, put that everywhere. We're gonna do a report for him because he's asking oh, yeah. for it. But he, and I do believe he's he probably gonna. Go get a warrant on I'm sure. Okay. 14, single 14. No, I know. Because it's on video. This is what Jeremiah does. And what he's, this is exactly what he's been trying to do. Yeah. And this guy wanted to do it. Well, well yes, he, yes, he does. <laughs> he's a cop. These guys weren't on his property at the time that he just attacked them. Uh, I don't mind him. Listen, <laughs> regardless, he should know. 7, 12, single 14. Yeah, but he should know. I don't know if you're being recorded, it's probably going to go somewhere, and they want on your property. Yeah, you know, you 
I was trying to detain him and arrest him for because I asked him to leave. I guess he saw the video. I just didn't have cuffs on me to put on him, so I just said, all right, I'm going to pop up, and that's when I called 911. That's what I said. Um, so, can you go back to the beginning? I know you said you saw him walking so he was in. Out of the on the corner house. Push the car around here. I was in my kitchen area. Mm -hmm. I threw a giant bag of trash right here in my front yard. So I came out and said, hey guys, police, I need you to pick up the trash. I need you to leave the neighborhood. You know what you are, man. Came over and they gave me a bunch of, of, of lips. So that's when I showed my badge. And I said, guys, I'm police, I need you to get out. And that's when we started filming. Stop, video. So... I like to charge him or prosecute him at this point if he wants to make the deal, but I really just wanted to leave the neighborhood. Oh, they're allowed to be walking on the public road. Yeah. It's not like a gated community. Yeah, but it's, it's littering is a crime too. I mean, littering is a crime too. He's homeless. He gets his right, but do you have an idea on anything? No, I can go get it, but I can give you my info if you want. Okay. William W I L L I N. Thorough good T H O R O W G O. Thorough good. Wow. G O O D. At this point, Officer Jean Antonio knows that the off-duty cop needs to be arrested for felony assault, but she can already tell that her partner isn't going to have the courage to do the right thing. So she grabs her phone and walks away to call a higher-up. She informs one of her higher-ups at the department that she doesn't believe her partner is going to do the right thing and that if he doesn't, she will make the arrest. We don't know whether she was trying to do the right thing because it's the right thing or whether she was just trying to cover her own ass, knowing for a fact that this was going to end up all over the internet. Why? Why? I don't Hey, so I guess he's going to do the report, but he went and attacked this guy when he wasn't even on his property, like threw him to the ground and everything, and it's all on video. Over some trash that they threw in there in his yard, but picked up. They weren't in his pro on his property when he went after Jeremiah at all. And it, from there, you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack Jeremiah. Yes, all on video. Yes, all on video. All on video. Video, video, video. Video. No, he's not. Well, he said that he, he, was, he, he wasn't, he didn't think we should arrest for that, but Beasley. That's what I'm saying. You would arrest anybody else? You It being on video is, yeah, it's a problem. And he shows his badge and says, I'm a cop and everything. Listen to that, man. So the fact that it's on video makes it a problem. So if y'all see why they are so afraid of cameras, because they know it's a problem. She called him being on camera, committing a crime, a problem. And it wouldn't be a problem if he wasn't on camera. Is what I'm getting from, you know, what she's saying to her to her uh to her superior. So terrible. Man. And he was trying to arrest him in the middle of the show. I don't think I don't think I don't necessarily think that she is a quote unquote good officer. I think that she just doesn't want to be a part of the story in in the worst in in the bad side of the story because it's going to show oh you should, he showed you on camera that this happened these two officers showed up to the scene and did nothing about it even though it was on camera so she knows how, she knows the trickling down effect that it's going to have so she's trying to protect herself not protect the people that actually uh, were victims of crime she wanted to protect herself uh from the street. Yes. 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 Yeah. People lose today. What's up? What's up? But he told him to get his hands and put them behind his back. And Jeremiah is filming as, as he always does. And then he comes at him. And you can literally see the scuffle on camera. The whole camera like starts shaking and crap. His daughter's right. screaming and crying. And he said he had his knee on the back of his neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's I'm having a problem with this because it's all on video and he already hums this up enough and it's all on yeah. video. It's all on video. And he wants to prosecute and I truly it's all I, don't on video. I don't blame him. So call Dramac and I guess call Brown because if he doesn't arrest him, I'm gonna have to take over and do it because 
I have a problem with that because he literally told us I was trying to detain him, but I didn't have cuffs on me. That's what he said. Crazy. What? That, That's what he said. No, you're trying to. Yeah, please. Thank you. When she turns back around to make the arrest, this is what's happening. This particular part of the incident is easier to see and hear from Jeremiah's point of view. Okay. Jeremiah. Oh, hold on, y'all. So I'm a, I'm a, uh, I Ray, I hear you. Um, you know, but we're, we're gonna, we're gonna have different, uh, different thoughts on that. I think she, I think she has a heart because she doesn't want to be on the wrong side of this. Um, she keeps saying he has a camera. It's all, it's all on video. And when, when she keeps saying that, that in my mind, that only makes me think that she is only acting the way she's acting because it's on video. And if it wasn't on video, she would have tried to uh, make this situation go away. But she can't because it's all on video. So she knows that she, it's either it's either they all go down or this this <laughs> this guy right here goes down and and she's saying i'd rather it just be him touch me <laughs> okay detective william thorough good with metro police okay mm -hmm. all right. i'm not trying to hurt you don't want to scare you i'm really sorry for the confrontation i had in front of your child okay i feel really bad about that and i just want to apologize to you so i am sorry for upsetting yeah. the kid especially around the holiday season so, yeah, because she's never going to forget that now. Yeah. She's going to look at cops as pieces yeah. of shits because of you. You're absolutely right. Taking that into consideration. Apologize to you. I try to teach my kid that not all cops are bad. There are good cops, and then you come out and do shit like that. So please just hear me out, okay? Jeremiah. All right. Can you hear me out? I hear you. Right. Let me just swallow my pride here and say I apologize for upsetting you and your family, okay? That, 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 that's good. That's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not going to take from you guys during the holidays. Okay? So, Try to be man enough and apologize, which is a hard thing for cops to do. I just hope that you know, it's man enough to accept my apology. So he said that's that's hard for cops to do to man up and apologize. That's that's a hard thing for men for for cops to do. So wow, so cops don't like to man up. It's basically what he just said. Cops don't like to man up, and he's he's basically pleading and begging to not ruin his career after he just assaulted you threw you on the ground and in front of in front of your wife and kid bro i don't have no uh no man you no i just didn't like the litter in my yard that's yeah oh uh, i just didn't like the litter in my yard uh they picked it up that's the thing about it he came all the way outside to to deal with somebody littering in his yard they and they picked it up, but he kept trying to. He kept going past that. I'm like, okay, we picked it up. Now you, but you're not satisfied with just us picking it up. You want to say, hey, get out the neighborhood. You can't be blah 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 blah. All the cop stuff, and you know, now it, <laughs> now it's so you, you see it, it. It's turned out bad. Now you want to save yourself and apologize. He's not really sorry. He's not really apologetic about what happened. He's just, you know, he's just sad that, you know, he sees that this is going to turn into a bigger deal than, you know, he once thought because, I don't know, cop, they don't think. They just, he went in cop mode, forgot that he didn't, he wasn't on duty or anything like that. And you can't just randomly go up to people in the middle of the street or in the street in general, grab them, throw them on the ground and choke them and you know pretty much assault them just because they just because their daughter dropped something in their yard may it may or may not been uh it may have been an accident but even if it wasn't come on like you now he's thinking back at this like dang that was a stupid that was a stupid stupid move but now you already made it Okay. She didn't mean to drop it, but to go to that extent, because I pulled out my phone and asked you for your name and badge number, really? Come on now. That, that, that That's being, I, I get that. But that's being a tyrant. Jeremiah, listen to me. Do you not agree with that? 
still trying to go at, going to cop mode. Hey, listen to me. For what? You're right. I apologize. And I want you to understand how hard it is for me. Oh, I know how. You, you're right. I apologize. Um, imagine, imagine how how many people he violated. How many times he didn't apologize because it wasn't on camera. Oh, it is for cops. I know. I'm a first amendment auditor. I know. All right. Well, that's, we need more people like you in this world. Stay my hand to you, man. I'm shaking. I'm not gonna shake your hand. Okay, where are you? I'll be one or two. Yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna post the video. Though. I mean, it, that's your legal right. I'm yeah. gonna stop you from doing that. Yes, sir. At this time, Jeremiah claimed that he didn't want to press charges against the off-duty cop. He just wanted to post the video to YouTube to show the world what happened. Jeremiah told me that as he was leaving, Detective Thoroughgood shoved something into Jeremiah's pocket while asking him to please not post the video on social media. Jeremiah claims that when he reached into his pocket, he found that Thoroughgood had given him $80. As you can see, yeah. he posted the video on social media anyways. <laughs> well, at this time, Jeremiah claimed that he didn't want to file charges against Thoroughgood. Two days later, he did go into the district attorney's office and show them his video. The DA then filed two charges against Thoroughgood for two counts of felony aggravated assault, which will go before a grand jury for indictment on January 18th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Immediately upon returning to work after this incident, Detective Thoroughgood was decommissioned as a police officer by the Nashville Metropolitan Police Department where he worked. As seen in Jeremiah's original video, which is linked below, Thoroughgood made a false claim to 911 operators that a homeless man was armed and advancing towards him. Since the video contradicted the detective's false report, his integrity has been called into question and jeopardized all of the past and current cases that he's working on. I mean, you should watch the video. He looks crazy, charging at him in the middle of the street. What the yeah, fuck are you sir, doing? Sir, sir. Crazy. And, 